Hello and welcome to another video in this series where we are learning about the introduction to Windows environment. This environment that you're currently looking at is the desktop environment. In the desktop environment, the reason I have brought you over here is so that we can look a little bit into how you can work with the recycle bin and how you can go about organizing and arranging your folders. For example, if I'm not interested in a certain file, I can simply drag it and drop it on the recycle bin or I can simply click on it and press the delete key on the keyboard. If I do that, if I take the second approach of selecting it and pressing the delete key, the very first thing it asks me is, would you really like to do this? I can press yes to finalize the change and then the item goes in the recycle bin. If I double click the recycle bin, you will be able to see both items available to me in the recycle bin. I can certainly drag and drop it back to the desktop. Or if it has not come from the desktop, it has come from a different location, the same computer, I can simply right click on it and I can choose restore. So this is how you can delete an item, push it into the recycle bin, or restore it from the recycle bin. Very similarly, if you have an item in the recycle bin, so let me create an item to be pushed into the recycle bin. So let's create a, let's open Notepad. Let me type some demo text here. Let me save this document. This is a desk document. And here it is right on my desktop. Now, if I press delete, it asks me, would you like me to take this to the recycle bin? I say, yes, please. It is in the recycle bin. However, to completely get rid of it, I will going to right click on the recycle bin and I'll say empty recycle bin so the item will actually go away. It will ask me, would you like to delete this item permanently? And I'll say yes and the item goes out. Now the question is, does it really, really gets deleted? Or is it not deleted but it's not available to me? The answer is, that it is really still available on the hard disk is just not available to you on your operating system. So if anybody grabs your hard disk and scans through it, will still be able to retrieve this document. That is why before you turn in your computer to anybody else in terms of donating it or reselling it, you must always make sure that your hard disk is clean white. This is called formatting the hard disk. So if your hard disk is formatted, that's the best way to make sure that all the items are removed. In the second tutorial, I will actually teach you how you can organize your contents right on your desktop and make it less cluttery and less messy. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.